So today I'm going to be presenting the Red Book, and this is a story about um, a little girl and a little boy who find a Red Book and who kind of go through this journey of finding one another. Um, and so in the story, the girl is the one who finds the Red Book first, and she kind of goes through and she sees this island and she sees this boy who also finds the Red Book. And then um, he sees the girl, he sees a city, and then he sees a girl who is looking at him through the red book. And so it's pretty interesting because then they realize that they're looking at each other and they acknowledge that they are in each other's lives. And in the end, um, the girl ends up reuniting with the boy and in his island and so it's really interesting just how everything um everything occurs and so obviously there are two main characters there is a little girl who lives in the city and then there is a little boy who lives on an island and so the girl isn't very isolated she's around a lot of people she goes to school um she's in a community but or however she is surrounded by a lot of people but she doesn't seem to connect too well with too many people as she's usually just reading the book and by herself and the boy is completely alone there um are no other characters around him they there's just him and the book and then eventually the two um meet together at his island and so um and then we have the red book which isn't exactly a person but um, I would consider it to be a character because it's in every single page and um, it's kind of just the main thing of every single page and so um, those are the characters that's the storyline and um, that's kind of how everything happens and so um, there are a couple things I would do if I were to change the storyline um, First, I would make the point of view be the point of view of the book because um, although there are only two characters who open this book and read it, I think that um, it would be interesting to see how many people have actually read this book and just how old this book is. And so how I would change it is I would, um, I would want to see how things are portrayed through the eyes of the Red Book and just what the book has seen. So all the good moments, all the simple moments, all of those little things that parents might not see because um, because children are the only ones picking up this book and the story, I would like to see what parts of the children's lives that the book sees. And so maybe that's something that the children do that they are proud of that their parents never really noticed or maybe it's them getting bullied or maybe it's them just um, finding the beauty in something or finding a new animal or um, learning about something new and just getting excited or um, them making a new friend and then um, also those times when the children are really obsessed with the book and really love it and read it over and over um, but then those times when they also completely forget about it and they just kind of throw the book to the side even though that even though they would had read it con on a constant basis for a long time so I would like to see um kind of portray the book in a way that has feelings and emotions but doesn't exactly say that um it would just kind of show like how lonely the book is because um so many people would read it um so many people would look through it and um but no one person would keep it um i think that that would be interesting to see and so um but in the end i think it would be good if there was one person who actually kept the book and who actually decided to um decided to pass it on to their children so i think it would be interesting to see if you know if a child grew up with the book and if they kept returning to it and if the book kind of became like this um almost like a security blanket that someone had and when they were they needed 
some type of comfort they could go back and read this book and then maybe they would read it to their children and keep going until it got worn out until like pages came out and how the book felt about that and how um it felt loved but also knew that it was fading away and so but in the end it could be how the book has come to an end and its use has come to an end but it would portray this lesson of how um like the importance of love or friendship or community or something like that so i think it would be really interesting if we could see the book from that kind of point of view um as it would be emotional but also would teach a really good story and so i would like to see it from that and so just a little bit um about the book itself before finishing is it's a hardcover you can see the the simple um simple drawings and then side have the red book and you can see this is where the little girl lives and you can see how there are no words she finds the book and then this is um, where the boy lives, as you can see, he's very isolated, he's by himself, and he doesn't really have anyone with him. And this is where it's kind of almost, I would, would know how to describe it, but um, it's almost like the two children are connected, but also connecting with the reader themselves. So they kind of pull the reader into the story. So I thought that was a really interesting aspect. And then in the end, it kind of shows how the book is by itself. So it would be really interesting to just see their point of view and how, and then another person picked it up and just how like so many people picked up the book and how, how the book felt about that. Um, but then in the end, when it found its forever home and the person who would read it over and over and pass it down to the kids and grandchildren and great grandchildren. So I think that would be extremely interesting. So overall, I thought this book was really interesting. It's the first time that I read a wordless picture book and um, I really enjoyed it and I definitely recommend it. Um, it's very imaginative, very um, interesting. And I think that kids would really enjoy it. And yeah, for all, that's the book. It's called The Red Book, and I thought it was very interesting. Thank you.